it going, my fellow homo sapiens? It's your boy Uzumaki Ado, and today we're doing an anime review on the one and only Level E. That's right, Level E. Oh my god, this anime is just great. It's awesome. I had a blast watching this anime. It was just fantastic. So, a little bit about this anime, and first, before I start talking about this anime and giving it re its review, I'm going to say that it's going to have a quite a few spoilers in the anime that I'm going to give out. So if you haven't seen the anime yet and you want to see it, definitely see it before actually looking at this review. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So a little bit about Level E. The storyline really kind of surrounds this alien prince that crash landed on Earth and actually started living with a college student. And at the beginning, he seemed to have amnesia. He don't know where he came from, what his purpose is, but he actually know that where he came from, he's just really playing dumb. He's just kind of playing everyone. And one thing I really like about this anime is this alien prince just love causing chaos. He loved watching people having pain and suffering. He loved making other people's lives hard. And that's just something that's really, really great about this anime. Now, this anime is all about comedy. It's not a serious anime where things are, people are dying and getting cut up and you have breasts all over the place. Don't get me wrong, I love those type of animes, but this anime here is just really, really fun. It's just a joy, enjoyable, you know, it's just, it's just this really good anime itself. You can laugh a lot. It's just a whole bunch of different storylines in there, and it's just great to watch all over. Now, a little bit about some of the characters in this series that really mattered the most to me. Yuki Taka moves on his own to pursue a baseball career for school or college, and he's this character who's really, really just kind of tough. Um, he's not really a, a character like he's soft or anything of that nature. I really like his personality. He's this cool type character. He seems pretty tough, pretty badass. And when he first moved out, he moves into his dorm just to find out that this alien prince is in his home. And he's just, he just really annoyed to find someone in his apartment. And that's one thing I really like about this character. He's really awesome. Now, some of the downsides size beside this character is I was really hoping we got a lot more of him in this series but we don't get a lot of this character in the series he's in the first half he's in the first few episodes then he's gone for a nice portion of the uh, series then towards the end we see this character again Prince Braga is the alien prince that actually landed on Earth. Now, one thing I really like about this character is he's just a straight-up asshole. He's just bad all over. He's always causing problems. I know I stated that a little earlier in the um, review, but this guy is always causing problems. He makes this anime live. He's really just the main character of this series. And... That's, that's what he does. He calls chaos. Sometimes he'll dress as a female or something of that nature, and it's just hilarious the things he do. Like, it's one part where he beat up the bullies, and he actually killed one and put them in a dumpster or something of that nature, and it's really, really funny. He's just always causing some problems. He's always giving people headache. One thing is he did in the series was he gave these kids these... um. Power Rangers slight slash watches or something of this nature. And these kids was able to turn into these little rangers to fight uh evil and stuff like that. And he was causing evil. He was just this evil guy. And these kids didn't want these type of powers, but they, they couldn't get it off. So he did all type of little uh things to force them to actually fight for them or fight these little battles and these games and going on. And it's really, really awesome. This guy, he really just make this series. Fantastic. Now, one thing I will like, a, one thing I really do like about Prince Adagra is that he's intelligent. He's beyond intelligent. Like, he is just so smart. It's, in, it's just incredible. He's always a step ahead of everyone else. Now, at the end of the series, he is um, outsmarted. Someone outsmarts him. And that's actually incredible. I was like, oh, wow, he was actually tricked. But this guy here, he is definitely one of the favorite characters in this series because he is just great. He is just awesome. <laughs> Even though he's causing all these people trouble, it's like he's always going around. He's always screwing something up. But at the end of the day, when something really, really bad does happen, some of the characters do go to him to try to get him to fix whatever it is. And when you have to go to him, it really sucks because you know he's going to punish you for it. You know he's going to do something really, really effed up to just get on your nerves. And that's one reason I really, really like the Prince of Dogra, because he is definitely an asshole. <laughs> now, another good character is Kraft. One thing I really like about Kraft is he's the head of the Royal Guard. But not just that, 
this guy gets this the worst from the Prince of Dogra. Like, oh my god. So let's talk a little bit about Cass. Let's let's go a little bit about what he does in this series. So first thing first, he is one of the bodyguards for the Prince of Dogra. Dogra. And the prince just does so much effed up stuff to this dude. It's just hilarious. And even though he's the guard, he's supposed to protect the prince. At times, he just wants to kill the prince. And he just he just gets the worst. Like, the prince just does so much stuff to him, it just sucks. So, one thing, the prince made him the bad guy. And the kids who had the little powering watches had to go to him and get the key. And it was just, it was just so awesome to see this. It's like, you really want me to beat up these kids. Like, really? Like, how, how do you get out of this? And the prince is just always doing something mean to this guy. And this guy is really, really patient throughout the series. But at times, he just loses his top. And he just wants to strangle the prince himself. So, Level E is actually licensed by Funimation. And Funimation has a lot of good anime. And that's one thing I like about Funimation. They have these great animes. And they put this type of anime out there so people know. So, once I went out and I picked up level E. I made sure I got the Blu-ray and this the DVD and the little box set. Now overall I really enjoy this movie. Um some of the pros in this movie is it this this series, this anime series, is it's really fun, it's interesting, it's this a blast, it's awesome. I love it. The characters are rich. They're they're full of life. They don't seem plain. It's always something happening. And sometimes you just can't predict what's going to happen. Now some of the cons in the anime for me was some of the main characters that I would like to see more in the series that it seemed like the series was actually kind of focusing on in the beginning. They just kind of moved away and focused on a lot of other different characters and a lot of other different random storylines. And I really wanted to kind of focus on, you know, more of the main characters themselves. But we really don't get that. We really get a lot of different storylines throughout the series. But that is just a really small con. Overall, this anime is great. I enjoyed it. I had tears in my eyes. It's just, it was just a blast. I'm going to rate this anime a 7 out of 10 because it was just good all over. It was just a fun anime. I enjoyed it. And I believe that if you take time to watch this anime, you will actually enjoy it too. So if I left anything out in this anime review, please let me know in the comment box below. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. And thanks for watching. Matane.